everyone! Welcome back to the channel. This is Elle and welcome back to Dea. If you were here in the last island tour video, we toured around the university grounds and today I thought I could share the Sanrio residence that I just finished working on a couple of days ago. So if we take a look at my map, here we have Chai's house. I recently invited her to my island and I added another resident. So this avatar is named Davy and he's wearing Cinnamarol outfit to match Chai's house. So for today, we are still joined by my very loving partner Haku and this is his avatar Kuwan. We are still recording on his Switch. So without further ado, let's go to the Sanrio residence and meet up with our avatar Davy. So I'd like to ask you to excuse me, my island I mean, because um, this the area outside the Sanrio residence is very cluttered as you can see over here. I recently tore down, hi Buzz, I recently tore down my campsite grounds and I'm redoing it. I would like to show it next time we do another tour but for now this place is empty this area has been torn down and i'm still thinking about what to put in it but for today we are just going to tour the interior of the Sanrio residence so let's go let's wait for a davy So this is my first room since the Sanrio avatar, I mean resident that I invited is Chai. I wanted to be the first room to be Cinema Roll. And the whole residence itself, I wanted it to be a Sanrio cafe and bookshop. So you will notice that in each room, it has a theme and it has books and magazines all over. So this is the Cinema Roll room. There we go, just taking a quick look around. I added more villager photos. So we have Broccolo, he was my first lazy. That's Slyman, he was a jock resident in my island. I recently invited Punchy to replace him. And that is Maple, that is actually Haku's newest resident back at Tinian. So let's take a quick look around next room we have the pomperin back room so this one i call it a back room because it, there at the back you have a bed where the staff coat staff can lie down and rest after a full day's work books at the side a fridge and then there's a laptop there, you know, for invoice and stuff. <laughs> okay, let me go. <laughs> I'm thinking of adding a cutout standee here as a door. And then of course, more books. So it's a bookshop after all. Let's go to the next room. I also made sure that there's music in each room because last time one comment I received was that the rooms were too quiet. Next we have the My Melody room. There. So this one I wanted it to be a birthday room at the same time. So I added cake, birthday items. Everything is pink and white to match My Melody. I'm not a big fan of these chairs, but I felt like I should add them. There we go. I guess there's not much to say, just um, taking a look around at what the rooms look like. I still added a Cinnamarol tea set over here since it matches the theme, the color theme or color scheme of the room itself. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go to the next room. So my fourth room is the Kero 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 P room. I was going to put this in the basement and then I remembered that in one of my residences it's already kind of the basement or if you remember the spa room in my girls dormitory house so I switched it up and put it in the west room instead. So this is more of uh, the kitchen for the entire house. As you can see there's more kitchen appliances in this room. And since uh, Toby's feels is a little bit more Eastern slash Imperial in nature, this is where I added the ramen and more dishes and a turkey casserole or pot as well. So over here, I decided to add Chevra's poster just because uh, her colors in the poster anyway our red and green matches Toby, so I decided to put her, her poster here as well. Well, the Caro Caro Peace poster itself is right over there. I wanted to add it, but it was a little too blue, so I kind of just hid it there in the corner. Now let's go to the next room. Oh yeah, the two remaining rooms are the Kiki and Lala room, and then the Hello Kitty room. So between those two, I decided to put the Kiki and Lala in the attic since it has clouds. You know the cloud maker. Oh yeah, I added a short clip of this room a while ago. Back when I first finished this in your residence. So there, the cloud maker is over there and that's why I decided to put the Kiki and Lala room in the attic. So, I like this room. I like this song. It's very calming. <laughs> I'm terrible at uh, remembering the names of the KK songs, but I do like them. So here, again, because of the colors that match, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Etoa, Etoa, I, I'm not sure. My French is very poor. So there, I added Trissy. And this is the rest of the room. I wanted to add a TV and some music in all of the rooms so that it's not too quiet. After all, all of these rooms are really just here for decoration and not much else. So now we go to the last room in my Sanrio Cafe and Bookshop. So this one, because of Hello Kitty's colors, I wanted it to feel more like a playground and really look like a, pl yeah, a playground, a playroom of sorts. So I really wanted to stick to the colors of the Sunrio items slash furniture that came with each amiibo villager. In case you are wondering how I have all of these items, there are a lot of options for trading online. So if you make friends over at Twitter, YouTube, Discord, or even at Nukazon, you can get all of these items without having to purchase the Amiibo cards themselves. That is if you're only interested with the furniture and items and not the villagers themselves. In case you did not know, you cannot invite slash adopt Sanrio villagers from other people's islands. So those cards can't really be shared unless you play locally. So that's it for my Sanrio tour. Very short. But another time, I would like to share other parts of my island to you as well. So, this has been L and Haku. Thank you so much for joining us today. Until next time. Bye!